Hey, what is up guys? Amy here with a new YouTube video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your computer. Tell me what you think about that new intro I have. I also have a new outro. If you stay tuned for long enough in this video, you'll see my outro at the end. Um, it's just a new setup. I've got new intros and stuff. I worked with, uh, if you're wondering what I use to make my intros, I use Blender. It's a uh, app, or it's a, a program that I'll probably make a video about in the future. But anyways, this, this video is focused on how to make your computer run much faster. I've done this with people's computers before and it has made the computer run so much quicker, so much smoother and helped the computer out a whole lot, hold like a huge amount because it helps your computer run a lot faster. So to go get this started, I'm running Windows 10, Windows 8 users. I'm pretty sure anybody can use this, that any like any version of Windows can use this. If you're on Mac, I'm sorry, I don't have to clean a Mac because I haven't used a Mac before, but um like to clean it up before. But um in this video it's gonna be focused on Windows. So what you want to do is you want to go on your keyboard and on the left side by your control button there should be a, uh, a flag by your control button on the right side you want to click that and at the same time you want to press R so at like holding at the same time so like that you want to press the flag and then the R this thing will come up it's the run it's the uh, run box whatever you call and it's already in there so basically you want to press t percent t, t e m p percent which stands for temporary you want to click OK and this thing should come up. This is your temporary files. <clears throat> your temporary files basically, it op it's re constantly opening these every time your computer starts up and it makes them like over and over again, I'm pretty sure, over and over again and basically slows your computer down for starting up and for running and all that stuff. So basically what you do, once you have it open, you want to click in here or whatever, you want to, you want to press control A to select all and you want to press delete. And I have 126, you want to click yes and it will recycle all this and the ones that don't say it it's probably because there's you're running or whatever you probably want to close those programs but I want to keep my Skype open and Adobe on that so just leave those do this just click click that and click skip and it will recycle the rest of whatever's left shouldn't it should depend on how much you have you um, how much how much you have in there is how long it's going to take to uh, clean up everything okay so once it's deleted everything that you that it can unless you skip the rest you can exit out of there next you want to go into your control panel and I have mine set up like this I don't know if for you that met for y'all do that for the people of for you for those of you who um, don't mess around with the control panel it's probably gonna look something like this but if you want to follow through how I have it um, I click category and I do large icons it's maybe it makes me where I can uh, access everything a lot quicker for me and what you want to do is you want to go to uh, where is it programs programs and features you want to go to programs and features and you want to uninstall everything that you do not need out of here so everything that like anything that you don't ever use just install it because you're not going to um, more programs on there means more stuff on your hard drive meaning more for it to load up depending on what kind of hard drive you have and it just basically the less programs you have the more space you're going to have and the faster your computer is going to run overall so it's a uh, two for one you know what I'm saying so once you've installed everything that you don't need anymore, you want to go, you want to exit out of the control panel and you want to go down to your task manager. So go back to your desktop, right click where your time is in the bottom right corner and click test, the, or task manager. And this should come up. Now you want to go to startup. And this is everything that, that make, this is everything that starts up whenever you when you turn your computer on. So this thing, Adobe Creative Cloud, that's going to turn on and has a startup impact of high. That means it's going to increase my startup time by a few seconds. Without this on, I'm running my computer starts up in about 17 seconds. With it on, it starts it up in about 30 seconds. So, depending on what kind of programs it has, if it says startup impact and tie, there's a likely a big chance that you want to disable that unless you want your computer to start up longer, or unless it's really needed that you have to have to have that. So, disable everything that you do not need. Um, I disabled this. I enabled my Skype stuff like that. De Raptor desktop app. I don't have to have that. Just different things that you don't have to have. Just disable it. So you just right click on it and click disable if you don't need it. That's what you have to have there. Now you want to go back to control panel and go back in the way I have mine the large icons you want to click on the administrative tools. Now you want to find in the uh, all these different tools you have you want to find disk cleanup and you want to double click on it. I don't want to dis disk clean uh, I guess I'll do my SSD. Alright so you select your hard drive or whatever, S, whatever hard drive you have and you want to click OK. You can do this with both. I'm not going to do it with both. I'm just going to do it with my SSD for now but just for the purpose of this video and for the sake of time but once you've selected your hard drive it's going to come up with all this it's going to load for a little bit depending on how much stuff you have in there and then this box will come up and you want to select everything that you don't have to have so I'm going to just select everything I don't have anything in my recycle bin hardly because basically you just want to 
check mark everything that you don't have to have. It says I'm gonna gain 199 megabytes. I've seen people clean it up and they've had 20 something megabytes when they've cleared it out. So if you haven't ever done this before, it's a good chance, a good reason you should because it can slow your computer down. And you want to click OK, permanently deletes files, and then it'll delete everything that you check marked, which shouldn't take too long, depending on what kind of hard drive you have. SSDs tend to run a little faster, a lot faster actually. All right, so once it's done loading, you want to go right above disk cleanup, and you see defragment and optimize drives. Basically, what defragmenting and optimizing is, it's going to recategorize your hard drive and make it where it's like it runs up faster and everything because the information is processed and um, categorized and organized a lot faster in a better way, and it cleans up all the mess that's in there. I, you're not supposed to uh, defrag your SSD. I don't know why. It just told me I'm not supposed to. So I have never de defragged my SSD, but I have defragged my hard drive. I don't know why it says 0% fragmented. I guess that means there's no fragments in it. I don't know. But basically, you want to select everything that you want to. Uh, if you want, if like you select whichever one you want to defrag. So I'm, if you want to select your hard drive. You select it and you click analyze if you want to see how much it needs or you just can click optimize which means it's automatically going to um, defragment it. You can click change settings here at the bottom and you can make it where you can where it will defrag on a certain on a weekly basis, daily basis, monthly basis, all that stuff so it keeps your computer in tip top for performance all the time. But that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this um, tutorial helped clean up your computer, make it run a whole lot faster. I know it helps a lot of people before I've showed. So if you like this video and it helped you out a lot, leave a thumbs up. Be sure to smash that thumbs like or that thumbs up button. Anyways, um, leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any problems or anything, and I'll see you guys next time.